right, so a lot of people know me as the Mountain Dew aficionado in the office, but really, honestly, Mountain Dew is my favorite soda, but in general, I'm uh, a, a soda connoisseur or a beverage connoisseur, not just soda, I like craft beer, other sorts of things. Uh, but that being said, uh, I heard about this coming out recently when I went searching for a Mountain Dew recently that just came out and I found this instead and I was happy to see this. This is Coca-Cola Starlight. It's part of their new line of Coke creations. So they're kind of delving into the world of, of Mountain Dew, I guess, where they're kind of coming out with fun, unique flavors like Mountain Dew does all the time. And I guess other sodas too. I'm just comparing it to my favorite, of course. But yeah, Coke Creations is uh, a new kind of sub-brand of Coke that they're launching where they're gonna have fun branded stuff like this, like Coke Starlight. Uh, they're branding it as space flavored, which I thought was really interesting because most of the time when you have a beverage, they typically brand it to what it is supposed to taste like. Um, on occasion you get like a mystery flavor or something like this, but this is, uh, they're saying it's flavored like something that, I mean, none of us would really know actually what it tastes like because space is a broad concept right now for yourself. <laughs> oh, okay, no one, no one knows what uh, space tastes like. You've never eaten a star before? What? I have not, no, wow. only in like Mario or Nintendo games or something like that. That's so, wild, yeah. similar effect. Yeah, but yeah, so Noah's here with me. We're gonna try this. We got the zero sugar version and the regular version. We got so, the regular right now, I guess. Yeah, um, why don't we crack them open yeah. and see what space tastes like according to the Coca-Cola company. Say, I feel like the Euro Soda Sommelier right now, um, what year was this uh, created? The, this, like Coke in general, or this this version. Oh yeah, like um, where did the like where did the Coke like come from? Like where was it harvested? Was it like in Napa or? Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Um. Yeah, we need to get like a, a, a spit bucket or something like that for the wine or something. Oh yeah, it's actually really good. Oh. Okay. Wait. Not to be that guy, but... It just tastes like Coke. It, it does, I mean, it's gonna have some sort of Coke flavor in it, I guess. It's a Coke base. No, I know, but, but like... I'll tell you what I think it tastes like. <laughs> what does it taste like to you? It tastes like vanilla Coke, oh. or like a vanilla cherry Coke. You know what, a little bit. I don't taste the cherry. Now that you say that, there is that slight, it tastes, so to me it tastes like Coke, or at least when I first tasted it. It tastes like Coke, just, straight up Coke, mm -hmm. but there it seemed to be like a tad flatter. Yeah. I think that's the vanilla that you're talking about. Yeah. I don't get the cherry, but looking at it, I don't know if it's just our lights or not. Oh. It does look a little pinkish. It which is I could pink see. You, I, I oh, it okay. Pink. So yeah, I could see it being a little bit of that like cherry, but not as much because obviously then you're just getting cherry Coke. Right, that's, uh, I wonder what the, the secondary flavor, I feel like it's vanilla and something what the other flavor might be, I'm not sure. A lot of, do they have like a creamsicle type flavor? Cause like looking at the can, it goes from like a dark mm. red color. I'll even move it to the camera. There's a dark red color here. And then it moves to like different shades of pink and then orange. I could see it being a mix of, do they have like a wild berry type of thing? Like a darker color one as well? Um, no, when you mentioned creamsicle, they do have the orange vanilla Coke. Maybe a little so, bit of orange vanilla in there as well, yeah. or like orange in there as well a little bit. What if they mixed them all together, honestly? <laughs> that's, what I'm kinda, that's what I'm wondering, if it's like a thing of... I could see so it. So say, cause it's dark, say it's like black cherry, goes to cherry, and then goes to that orange vanilla, because that, it's not strong of either of those in my yeah, opinion. Yeah. But I do taste, when you mentioned the vanilla, that's I think what I was tasting initially. Yeah, it's very heavy on the vanilla. But I, I like this I like this theory that it's like a mix because that soda brands do that a lot. Mountain Dew will come out with like a new flavor and it'll just be like, oh, we mixed all our flavors together. And it just tastes like Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I have heard some interesting guesses online so far. Some people have said graham cracker. Some people have said Coke and rum. Coke and rum? Yeah. Uh, some people have said uh, like Can a I raspberry. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. It is not an alcoholic. Oh, okay. This is safe for work. <laughs> um, yeah, raspberry, graham cracker. Uh, basically, what I'm getting is it's some sort of sweet graham cracker flavor. Graham cracker makes sense because yeah. that could, graham crackers kind of have a vanilla esque vibe yeah. to them. So I could, I could see and that. I didn't see it specifically, but I read somewhere that this was kind of being like branded as, you know, something you drink under the starlight, or it's supposed to like, I mean, it's starlight. So, like, makes sense. there's the theory that, like, oh, this could be like a s'mores flavor. Yeah. Like, you know, you're. 
toasted oh. marshmallow over an open fire under the open stars. One, I don't know, branding is fun. And I do appreciate that Coke is kind of being a little bit more innovative with their brand. I mean, Coke is great. Coke is classic and you really don't need to do much more to it. But in this fun uh, era that we're in where everything's new and everyone's coming out with a new thing, I think it's fun. I enjoy it. That's what I love about drinking soda. It's not necessarily, it's, ironically, it's not necessarily the drinking of the soda part. It's like all the rest of it. It's the branding. It's the experience. It's the hunt and discovery for the new product. And it's the innovation. I think that's that's why I personally am a big fan of soda. But what do you what do you what do you think overall? Now, do you enjoy it? Oh yeah, yeah, I definitely enjoy it. It's one of those things of if um, if I went to a restaurant or something and they said like, oh, do you want like, and I say I ordered Coke, and they said, do you want Coke or do you want Coke Starlight? Mm -hmm. If it wasn't an extra cost like type of thing, like yeah. if it didn't charge you more for the Starlight, I feel like just from time to time I'd be like, you know what, give me a Starlight because like you said. To me, at least, it doesn't have a strong, uh, like, flavor mm -hmm. to where it's like, oh, it's a cherry Coke. Um, but I think just from a marketing standpoint, it's like one of those things of, yeah, it's a fun thing to participate in. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I'm drinking a Coca-Cola Starlight, like, type of thing, yeah. as opposed to like, oh, I'm just drinking Coke. Mm -hmm. It's like a fun little extra thing. It makes you feel like it's new, it's a little different, it's not too far off what the yeah. normal stuff tastes like. I don't know, it's fun. It's kind of like, yeah, I, I agree. It's kind of like one of those cultural experiences, kind of like when yeah, Starbucks like did it like experience. unicorn frappuccino or whatever it was, <laughs> or I don't know. It's, it's one of those things that like it hits the headlines and it's here for a limited time for like a week and then 10 years later, they'll bring it back for people who, you know, have the nostalgic feeling for it. Kind of thing. That's how I see it, so. Exactly. Yeah, cool. So thanks for cool. um, enjoying some Coke Starlight with this vlog. Uh, cheers. 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 There we go. <laughs>